Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Andrew and welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial. So I recently had somebody ask me a question on how to manipulate 3D models. Um, he was watching an older video of mine and the um, that particular version of Clip Studio Paint used to have a, a button down here on the right that looked kind of looked like a dog bone. And what the dog bone used to let you do was manipulate the 3D model by making them uh, fat or skinny or uh, childlike or voluptuous but that feature is no longer there well it is but not it doesn't look the same so uh, this video is going to explain how that uh, how you can do that um, if you would like to see that old video you can still it's still good it, um, you can still use the, the tips that I give um, but for this particular tip, it has changed. So um, you can see we are working with uh, Clip Studio Paint EX version 1.7.8. And so the, the way you manipulate your 3D models now is uh, by clicking this button here. You only have one button to, to click. It's the, uh, the one that looks like two people next to each other with the, a double arrow underneath them. It should take you to this pop-up window. Uh, it should be on this selection here, body shape. Uh, you can see here this uh, square, and it has all the uh, the four options like it did before. You have your muscular guy or voluptuous, uh, the childlike down below, the fat guy on the right, and the skinny guy on the left. And so by moving this uh, cross to uh, those particular characters your 3d model will change in regards so this cross is over by the skinny guy so 3d model is going to be skinny if we move him up over here to the muscular guy he's going to become muscular and if you put him somewhere in the middle he, he'll be a, something a little bit skinny and a little bit muscular depending where you put him in uh, the square here so you can manipulate him like that and of course if you want to start over you can always click this little round arrow here uh, which resets it and puts it back into the center um, now another uh, some uh, new stuff that uh, is was added were as this height you can now um, change the height of your character I believe in centimeters so 180 centimeters that's how tall your your character is um, and then you can, of course, make them shorter, make them taller, whatever you want. And then, of course, the head to body ratio. Um, I usually draw superheroes, and superheroes are usually eight heads tall. If you know anything about drawing superheroes, they, the de the common height of a superhero is usually eight eight heads. So that only means that the head of this 3D model. If you were to grab this, the size of this head, it would be eight, eight of them. That's how tall he is, eight heads. Um, another thing that you can do that you couldn't do before is you can now um, manipulate individual body parts, specifically the head, the neck, the torso, the arms, hands, legs, and feet. So you can just, uh, let's go to the head real quick. Again, just how we manipulated the entire body, you can now manipulate the head by clicking different parts uh, of the square, and you can see uh, the shape of the head is changing. Again, you can go to the round arrow here, puts it back into the center uh, to the default. Um, you can click this arrow here, and this, this uh, will maintain the ratio, uh, which uh, it should keep the, the these two numbers here uh, the up and down and the left and right it'll keep them in the same uh, so if it's 15 here it'll be 15 here that only gives that that's so you can have a nice um, a, a nice square head right uh, so however long up and down it is that's how long it's going to be left and right uh, of course removing it you can again you can then uh, make it different right so it's a lot 
stretched out up and down, down left and right. And you can do that for um, all the body parts to maintain the ratio if you would like to maintain the ratio. Uh, yeah, and this button up here, uh, the initial body shape, if you, if you want to go back to uh, the basic default Clip Studio Paint model, you click this button here, initial body shape, and this will um, put you back to the initial um, shape, which uh, is uh, 175.7 centimeters and 7.8 heads. I don't know why they chose that, but that's what it is. Um, I usually just go... 180 and 8 heads. So, um, that's how you now manipulate the body shape of your 3D model. Uh, uh, so, it, it, does, it still does what the dog bone does, but uh, it does even more because it, it, you can now do individual body parts. So, I hope that answered your question. I hope it, you found this video helpful. Um, if you like the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I do uh, Clip Studio Paint videos like these. Um, when I find something interesting about uh, the, uh, the program that I, I find out or um, I use that I know other people might uh, find it interesting or helpful, I'll do these tutorial videos. Um, I also do videos on um, my comic book. I'm, I'm doing a comic book. If you haven't checked out my comic book, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get a free PDF version of my comic book. I made the whole thing on Clip Studio Paint, um, so go check that out. I'm working on issue two of my comic book, um, so I might post updates and uh, some speed drawings of how I'm doing the pages. Um, I also... I haven't done a gameplay in a long time, but um, I will be doing a gameplay here, well, not soon. It will probably be in January. I am expecting a game on January. Um, I'll, I'll probably talk about it more later in a different video. But again, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.